Now, members of the Ilchamus community who live at the shores of Lake Baringo had an opportunity to relive, to relive the ancient times. An exhibition for photographers and artifacts excavated by archaeologists from two ancient Ilchamus village offered the perfect opportunity. The archaeologists believe that villages were disseminated in a conflict some two centuries ago. Archaeologists, in collaboration with the National Museums of Kenya, are in the process of documenting the community's history to an upcoming cultural center. Kedga Shohe shed some light on this. The symphony of rhythmic beats coupled with traditional dances punctuated the exhibition showcasing the Ilchamus community's history and culture as members interacted with artifacts excavated from two ancient villages. <laughs> Archaeologists in collaboration with the National Museums of Kenya have been excavating sites where the two villages existed before they were reduced to ashes in an inter-community conflict over 200 years ago two main villages that the Ilchamus used to live in the 19th century um, was attacked by the Maasai and burned to the ground. When we were excavating that village in 2015, we, we could find that completely burnt down village, that layer, and everything was essentially preserved as the life was back then. The exhibition held at the upcoming Ilchamus Cultural Center provided an opportunity for the community to learn more about their culture and appreciate their history. So this one actually helps a lot in um, uh, keeping the culture and understanding the past, the, the present and the future of the, uh, of the tribe. During the exhibition, the researchers shared with the current generation information gathered through scientific research and from among the elders. The areas of interest included past climatic conditions and how the community survived in the arid area. How we can... Um, help people adapt to the uh, to the changes that are happening with some of the insights from from the past in terms of how they farmed what they farmed is there is there scope for this is there an economic opportunity uh, for sorghum millet and cowpeas uh, which used to be farmed here and were uh, very successful because they are drought resistant. Bearing in mind the history of African artifacts illegally shipped out of the continent, the community has expressed its appreciation to the researchers for keeping the artifacts at the cultural center and sharing their findings which they hope to use in turning around their lives. This is the first ever research that uh, the data is exposed to the community. So we found like most of the researchers come in, they just uh, do the research, the final product doesn't come down to the community. Many of the collections are in Nairobi. Many of the uh, photographs um, and films that used to be taken in the past, they're in, um, in European archives and museums. So 